die cutting hack for you. But first, let's talk about my page. So, as you can see, I am using the Monster Mash background um, for my Monster Cookie Land. Now, I had to hand draw this, and so I wanted to show you what I did. I have this cute little die from Elizabeth Craft Designs, and it's just too small for my page. I really wanted a big statement piece. And so what I ended up doing is I cut a circle out with my um, a Creative Memory Circle Cutting System. And then I just went around and I drew in these little spikes, cut them out, and erased them. This is all on white paper. And then I took my picked raspberry, which actually matches this collection really well. You can see the pink and those pink eyes, like, yes, that's the color. <laughs> um, and I just colored it in with my brush. And so it turned out super cute. And I will say, I did not have confidence going in that it was going to look as good as it does. Um, so my friendly reminder to you is just try. Try something and see if it works. Um, I really like how this is turning out. So this is my photo and my title is Monster Cookie. So I am going, I'm using a die from Sizzix. It has a whole bunch of letters with it, um, but it's kind of a skinny die and I had to do that on purpose because my space for my title is very limited. My title is going to be Monster Cookie and it's going to be right down here. Now that's a lot of letters to die cut and then use my liquid glue to adhere. And so my trick and tip for you when you're die cutting is to actually grab some double sided adhesive from scrapbook.com. I've had this, oh, I don't know, almost a year probably. It still has its stickiness. It's beautiful. Um, I clearly, I don't die cut that often, but this massive roll is going to last me probably several more years, as long as it just doesn't go bad, you know. I don't know that adhesive like this will go bad, but it essentially it's four inches wide and it's double-sided tape on here. And so I'm able to coat the back of whatever I'm die cutting with some double-sided adhesive, which makes sticking it down so much easier. It's incredible how how much easier it is to do this. So that's my tip for you. Grab some scrapbook. Excuse me. Grab some scrapbook.com wide. That's four inches right there. Double-sided adhesive and just add it to whatever your cardstock is. So. That's my tip and trick for you. I'll link that down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.